When it comes to merit, achievement, and excellence in the gymnastics world, Simone Biles is literally changing the game. Her landslide win in the all-around competition at the U.S. National Championships in August 2019 included a triple-twisting double somersault in her floor routine so complex that on the international AI scale for difficulty, judges concurred that Biles ought to earn a J rating for this move. As a result, the International Gymnastics Federation FIG, updated their ranking system to account for the unquestionable difficulty of this move. This move is officially known as, the Biles 2, after she executed it successfully October 5 at the World Gymnastics Championship qualifying round. The Biles, is her other signature no one in the world but her can do this move, a double twisting, double somersault dismount off of the balance beam. She nailed this move at the very same competition on the very same day. But despite the unquestionable difficulty of, the Biles, Fig assigned the move a difficulty rating of, H. Although no one in the world can currently do this move but Simone Biles, Fig chose not to value this move as an, I, or a as a, J, which may have also been appropriate. Fig justified this by claiming that this move carries increased risks for gymnasts, including a potential landing on the neck. Aside from the fact that from a layperson's perspective, every gymnastics move seems like it could result in a potential landing on the neck, something seems familiar about this situation. It turns out that creating rules to stifle excellence is an all-too-common, cross-sector approach to limiting competition. Opposing teams could not defend against slam dunks by UCLA's 7 feet 2 inches center Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, then named Luel Cinder, and other incredibly gifted athletes, so the NCAA decided to ban dunks for several years from 1967 to 1977. They cited safety concerns and damaged equipment as the reason for the ban. Because it certainly had nothing to do with Alcindor's dominance leading UCLA to a 30-0 season and national championship. Rich Paul, agent to National Basketball Association superstars like LeBron James and Anthony Davis negotiated over $625 million in contract deals. This did not stop the NCAA from creating a certification process for agents that required them to have a bachelor's degree. This rule was later rescinded after observers dubbed it the Rich Paul Rule, because Paul obtained his tremendous success despite not earning a bachelor's degree. Because college athletes need to be protected from unscrupulous actors. And anyone without a college degree can't be trusted, right? The, if you can't beat them, change the rules, mantra is not limited to sports. In politics, jurisdictions with a history of racial discrimination were required to seek preclearance for changes to their elections law until the Supreme Court overturned this requirement in in 2013.